Doc, mm. about how much longer do you think, Doc? Two more hours. I like that. After Assad, Khaled's birthing process would be captured via Snapchat and shared online by his famous father. Jay Khaled says that little Assad is destined for greatness and the toddler is already well on his way. His personal Instagram account boasts a quarter million followers and he's been snapped hanging out with his famous father's friends including Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross and August Alsina. And that's just me naming a few. Young Assad ain't just rubbing shoulders, he's been walking red carpets, hanging out at concerts and attending press conferences. At his age most kids are busy pooping in their diapers and figuring out which of the Wiggles characters has them worried about stranger danger. Kinda sad though, this kid is cut from a different type of cloth. He's already hard at work and has been credited as the executive producer on DJ Khaled's 10th album Grateful. And don't for a second start thinking that this kid is getting any handouts, he's been working really hard. When he's in the studio, he gets his, he, he, well his is like a little like this, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then he'll just go. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Assad Khalid following his birth on our first ever After They Were Born video. Now back in 2015, DJ Khaled retweeted the Before They Are Famous video I made on him and I'm hoping we can get the Key Masters attention once again. I'm asking all of you guys to send this video his way via Instagram or Twitter. And if he retweets it, it's going to be epic. Alright, let's jump into this bio. It's going to be a short one because this kid's still in diapers. But it's clear he's already gearing up for greatness. Assad Tuck Khalid was born at 2.05 a.m. on Sunday, October 23, 2016. He weighed in at 7 pounds, 14 ounces, and 21.5 inches long. DJ Khaled's longtime girlfriend and fiance, Nicole Tuck, had a lengthy labor. For a couple minutes, nerves were getting the best of DJ Khaled, but his adoration and connection to his child was clear. Plus, the man had been speaking to his son while he was in his mother's belly every day leading up to his arrival. Baby, see here. No film, no I'm, I'm gonna let y'all hear it only. Now you might be wondering how mom felt about having the birthing process filmed and shared with the world. Well, DJ Khaled had this to say. The key is that I'm the king and every queen should support the king. We want to make sure that the queen is right and my son is right. If it's running smooth, I'm a Snapchat the whole thing. DJ Khaled stuck to his plan and the world watched and waited for hours until his baby boy had arrived. Although they would have to wait a few more days before they would get a proper look at Ashad Tuck Khalid, who is the complete reincarnation of his father. I mean, look at their baby photos side by side. Now if you're wondering where they chose his name, Ashad stands for Lion in Arabic. Why does that sound familiar? Lion. It wouldn't take long before DJ Khaled would begin posting photos of his little man to Instagram, pictures of his child napping, bathing, being fed and nursed by celebrity friends including Alicia Keys. Khaled would shout out his love and admiration in the description box with rants like, God has blessed me with my biggest blessing, Assad I got us forever, I love you, Assad you my everything, my life has changed for the better because of you son. And his love wasn't just expressed via text, DJ Khaled also went shopping picking up a few items from a Gucci store. So this is this is the boy's side. Yeah, this is the boy's side. I want everything for my son. Okay. I want everything. Some reports state that he dropped as much as five million on his little man's wardrobe, but I'd have a hard time believing that. Then there was a photo of Assad looking snug as a bug sitting in the hood of a Ferrari. When 2017 rolled around, it was decided that Assad could use his own Instagram account, and the kid was living the dream and had a lot to show off. We're talking red carpet appearances, photos with Ryan Seacrest, Kevin Hart, Justin Bieber, Fat Joe, and way more. Asad, you looking amazing, boy. Me and you got matching suits tomorrow for the Grammys. <laughs> DJ Khaled picked up a Grammy nomination for his album, Major Key, so the night out quickly turned into a family event. Although DJ Khaled didn't win, he felt so blessed and so grateful for the nomination, he had already been hard at work putting together his next album. And this time, well, he had a partner in crime to help him take on the workload. This is your, your son. This is your boy here yeah, on this cover. Son. <laughs> Khaled's 10th album, Grateful, has Assad credited as the executive producer. His attorneys did up the paperwork and his son will be getting a percentage of the sales and all that good stuff. Not a bad way to get started in the music industry. You're making this whole new album with me, the whole new album. It's not like the kid didn't work hard for it. DJ Khaled explained to Jimmy Kimmel that Assad was in the studio listening to every song with his dad. If he pooped, DJ Khaled even found that as a huge blessing and a sign that they had created a hit. This is all pretty impressive stuff, especially seeing as the kid can't even walk yet. Walk to daddy, come here. You're doing good. You're doing good. 
At the time of this recording, Grateful has yet to be released. Although everything is top secret, it seems that they have been waiting on some Drake vocals, and it looks like it will also feature Chance the Rapper. Also, Puff Daddy, he helped DJ Khaled announce his upcoming album, and Little Assad, well, he was there on his father's arm, both there at the press conference and at the iHeartRadio Music Awards. It's pretty clear that this young man is being primed to become the next great man in music, so we can all be certain that we're gonna get another one. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is the first ever after they were born. My name is Michael McCredden, and I asked you guys in the intro if you can send this to DJ Khaled either via Twitter or Instagram, we would forever be grateful. Whew, be so exciting. Anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Boom! Oh, shouldn't have worn a sweater. It's so hot. Lots of lights.